Hello, so I'm in uh, Norwich. I'm sitting in the, the town center. And what I want to talk about is, um, is the um, processed food industry's uh, dirty little secret. And their dirty little secret is um, they don't want you as a customer. They don't want you as a client. They want you as an addict. So most of us, including myself, I was for a long time as well, we're addicts because the process industry does not produce food because it doesn't nourish your body or your brain. The process industry produces addictive products and they are designed to feed just your cravings and your addictions. The process food industry produces pro addictive products. They design them to be addictive. There's, they spend a lot of money, a lot of time, and a lot of effort, and a lot of science goes into this, into making whatever they're producing as addictive as possible. Uh, and it's extremely toxic, it's extremely bad for you. If it was addictive and it was good for you, like for example, exercise, it's not then, it's, that's a good thing to be addicted to, right? But addicted to like uh, crisps, peanuts, biscuits, all of those things, they're all designed, uh, bread, all of this, all of these processed foods, they're all designed to be as addictive as possible. They have no nutritional value. In fact, every time you eat them, they cause damage, which is called inflammation inside your body. And if you get a, if over a period of time, all this damage is called inflammation. And what, there was, what it will do is it will, it, will, it will damage your metabolic system. Your metabolic system is what keeps, keeps you in homeostasis and keeps everything in balance so that you live a healthy life. But if that system starts being damaged, which is what happens when you eat processed foods, and then you will end up with metabolic disorders. Metabolic disorders are like diabetes, high blood pressure, <laughs> Alzheimer's, cancer, all of those things are metabolic. There's loads of them. That's just some of the epilepsy. Uh, epilepsy is your brain isn't getting enough good quality fats. And so these all will damage you. And over a period of time, the damage they do is insane. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to wake the fuck up first i it, i had to wake up right i was addicted to i mean i grew up with um uh, fish and chips pizza you know all the good stuff right kebabs everything like that and eventually it put me in hospital and i had to wake up and i had to wake up that the process in food industry isn't there for your benefit isn't there for your health isn't there for your happiness it's there just to feed your addictions it's just there to keep you an addict. And as long as you're an addict, they can make as much money as they can out of you. Because a customer doesn't buy that much. A client doesn't buy much. But an addict, an addict needs to, to get their fix. And so this is why you're, you're always craving these things, uh, like biscuits, chocolates, crisps, all that kind of stuff, all that rubbish, fast food, all that. You're always craving them and you're never full. Because they don't, there's no nutrition in them. There's zero nutrition. They damage you. So the way I look at them is they're basically, so processed food uh, is basically cigarettes laced with cocaine, right? So the cigarette bit is that it's damaging. It's harmful to you. It'll put you in hospital. It'll give you loads of problems. And the cocaine part is that it's addictive. And so you're, you're craving it. It's like a, a rat in a maze. And so what you need to do is wake up to the fact that you are being manipulated by all the advertising, all the marketing, all the bullshit out there into thinking, oh, I need this crisps, or I need, oh, I need my Coca-Cola, or I need, you know, I need my McDonald's, or whatever it is, right? Whatever your addiction or your cravings are, if you're eating, like if you're eating ice cream because you think you need it, or if you're eating like an apple pie, um, or, or some donuts because you think your body craves it, it's not. It's not the body craving it. It's your addictions craving it. And so you feed those addictions and they will eventually mess you up big time. So you need to wake up. And as I did, I had to wake up and learn that these foods are not, this is not food. This is toxic stuff. So you need to learn to wake up, recognize that you are an addict and recognize that you're not eating in a conscious way and recognize that all this food is damaging you. And you need to start training yourself slowly by either watching videos or joining a health club or whatever it is, right? You need to start training and teaching your subconscious mind that this this is not food, that this is cocaine. This is this is these are cigarettes laced with cocaine, you know, dipped in, in alcohol. And alcohol is not good for you. Like 
the spirits, you know, but they are promoted like shit to us. And so we think, you know, to be normal, to be human, we need to drink alcohol. To feel good, we need to drink alcohol or to have a cigarette or to eat a donut or whatever it, those whatever your your Achilles heel is yeah you need to find a way to wake up and start slowly training your body and your mind to move away from these addictions to start eating healthy foods right and what they tell you is healthy isn't healthy so I'm a, I'm a health coach and I get clients going oh I'm eating healthy and I look at and then I say well what do you have for breakfast and they're eating like orange and crisps and uh, and the cereals, and I'm like, man, that is not healthy. That is not even food. By the way, cereals isn't food either. Cereals is an addiction. It's it, literally, again, as I was saying, it's cigarettes laced with cocaine. So they're addictive as hell. And what they also do is they trigger hunger. So they make you more hungry, and then you you eat more. And you you you. This is why you can eat like a big meal of porridge or cereals or whatever crap you, you can think of and know that if within a few hours you're hungry again right but if you eat really high quality high high quality foods uh dense foods like butter ghee uh, eggs meat fish like if you eat those you can't eat over those you can't overeat those right you cannot you cannot overeat those um because they will fill you up and once you're full you, you don't want it anymore so that's my rant uh, on uh, on the processed food industry the processed food industry is trying to kill you and extract as mon much money out of you as possible. What they're doing is they're getting you ready for the pharmaceutical industry. So it's almost like, and I know this is not real, uh, it's almost like the processed food industry and the pharmaceutical industry are in collusion. Like the processed food industry damages you, makes you into an addict so that you can't go without it and damages you so much you become ill, you end up in hospitals and all that kind of stuff. And so then you need the pharma industry to make you better again. But they don't. They poison you as well. They just, they just mask your problems. So uh, the pharmaceutical industry just masks whatever symptoms you have so that you think you're better, but you're not. And so they, they both work in conjunction. One, one's poisoning you, and the other one is masking your poisons uh, or the effects of the poisons. Uh, and, but in the process, making you worse. So just, just wake up, listen, learn, study. And most of, the, by the way, most of the health advice, if, if any, there's any health advice in the mass media or, or everywhere, it's wrong. Just be aware of that. So wake the fuck up.